I've had a lot of questions recently about life insurance. I'm an insurance agent and I have a relationship with a lot of different insurance companies, not just one. That way I can do the very best job for you to match you with the right solution for your needs rather than trying to do a great job for one company and potentially putting you into a product that doesn't fit your needs. Hi, I'm Christy Chase, and I want to answer a few questions that I've had recently about life insurance. What exactly is life insurance and how does it work? So life insurance, simply put, is income replacement. If you have a job that provides income to live on for you, your spouse, your children, your family, or you depend upon your income to pay for your home, your bills, or your future, then losing you would be quite a hardship for your family. Imagine not coming home tomorrow and leaving your husband or wife and your children without your income and the lifestyle that your income provides for them. From your home mortgage or rent payments, car payments, education. Listen, do you want to ensure that your family is taken care of and can continue to live in your family home after you're gone or at least have enough money to keep the house going until they can sell it? Or would you want your family to lose everything? ending up on the street, maybe having to leave the country or to dip into a retirement that would not allow them to retire and they'd have to completely start over. So we get life insurance on ourselves to provide for our families and our loved ones if we die earlier than expected, obviously. Now, term life insurance provides a guarantee for replacing your income if you die, but it has a time limit or a term. Now, that time limit or term is the number of years that you get to select for your term life insurance policy. Typically, you can get a policy for 10, 15, 20, 25, or 30 years. Now, for most term policies, your rates are guaranteed for the term that you select when you buy your insurance policy. The rate should stay the same and the amount of insurance should stay the same all the way through the life of that policy. Most policies can be continued after the term expires. However, the cost of the term policy becomes incredibly prohibitively expensive after that term has expired. Now, some policies allow you to get your money back. Now, that would be all the money you've ever put into the policy month after month over all the years that you've had your policy if you don't actually die during that term. It's called an ROP or return of premium. Now, this is usually an additional option that you can add on to your policy. And it usually costs more to add on this return of premium right. In my practice, I've had several people ask me about term insurance. And I've heard people say that they've heard term is bad, that whole life is better. Now, my response to that question is not usually what most people expect. Listen, if you wanted transportation and you came to me and said, Christy, what vehicle should I buy? Well, my first question would be, what do you need it for? For example, are you going across country? Maybe you need an SUV or maybe something really good on gas consumption. Are you going to go drive in snow and plow or dig people out? If so, you better get something with four-wheel drive, a manual transmission, and some really big tires. Now, if you're planning to go get exercise, you might want to be outdoors in good weather. Perhaps you want a bike. Or maybe a nice Toyota Camry will fit exactly what you need for most local driving to get across town, fit the family in, and drive in good weather, and simply enjoy your travels and luxury. You see, insurance is good for what it's good for. The issue isn't typically that you have bad insurance. It's that you don't want a bicycle if you're planning a cross-country trip. You need the right type of policy to match your needs. Now, I often say, just like there are 31 flavors of ice cream, there are 31 flavors of life insurance. I help my clients determine their needs, the amount that would satisfy that need, and I help them understand all the bells and the whistles that come along with their policy. If you're looking for an insurance agent, be sure to ask them to explain the types of insurance that they can offer and how each type works. Not all insurance agents offer all types of policies. Make sure your agent knows the difference and can provide the right product to match each solution not an agent who simply wants to force a square peg in a round hole by pushing you into a policy that's one of a handful of policies or products that they know or are limited to offering. Get a knowledgeable agent. If you need any guidance, please reach out to me by using the link in the description of this video. I'd be happy to help you out or point you in the right direction with your insurance policy. I hope this helps you with some understanding about some life insurance basics. And I'll be sharing a few more little tidbits to answer some questions that I've had recently about life insurance and related products. Now, if you like this video or you just want to hear what crazy thing I'm going to say or come up with next, do me a favor. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day.